Hey guys, it's Joy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I created three shaker cards using new products from Spellbinders that were created by Tina Smith. This is the Coastal Escape die set and I just love it so much. So here's the die here. It looks like you're gonna be looking through um, a porthole through in a boat, which I think is so, so fun. I love the idea. And then here are some of these dies that go together. So when you're die cutting, you kind of know the pieces that match together to create these really cute images. So like I said, I have created three shaker cards. We're gonna start off by die cutting with the smaller circle. Then I'm using the, the little porthole front piece that has all like the little the little hole detail in the front, super cute. I am die cutting three of these from Lawn Fawns. This is their um, white wood grain cardstock. And then for the first card, this is gonna have a bunch of fish. I thought it would be fun to do an alcohol inked background for the ocean. So this is the small size circle. This is die cut from uh, photo paper. You can use, obviously use Yupo paper. I use photo paper, and if you do use photo paper, you need, need to use the dull side, not the shiny side. So I am using Stream and Aqua for my ocean colors. I want it to be a little bit darker on the bottom, so this is Stream. I did add some gold brass pinata in here. I actually ended up getting a new one after this because I think it wasn't acting right <laughs> it was acting up just a little bit this is the aqua color that's going to go on the top of this circle and i'm just doing quick quick alcohol ink blending it does not need to be perfect a lot of these images are going to be or this background a lot of it's going to be covered up with sea life so i'm not overly concerned with how it looks i mean i don't want it to look like a big blob but uh, i just did it kind of quickly then i want to on another piece of that photo paper I want to add some other colors because I want to die cut my fish and some green greenery that are going to go under the ocean so the other colors that I'm using I think that is that this is sandal so this is going to be our little sand under the ocean then I'm using shell pink peach bellini and then botanical for the green I am just filling up this background because I can just use the die cuts from this I do need to let this dry for quite a while. So after I create this background, I am going to put it aside. And then we'll come back to it at the end of the other two cards because I'm not doing alcohol ink blending for those. So this is the shell pink here. And then the next color is the peach Bellini. I will be die cutting fish and seashells out of this. So this is why it was my color choices. These pop against the blue ocean background. So I wanted to not complicate things and just kind of have some really good simple colors. Then our last one is botanical. I'm just gonna add it to this little extra piece here of photo paper. Look at that botanical, it's such a pretty green, I love it. I do like having the lighter and the darker areas though when I did that ink blending, or excuse me, alcohol ink, um, because then it gives more interest to your die cut images. Now I'm using Lawn Fawn's Oh, this is their ocean, I can't remember what it's called, you guys, their ocean stencil or something. That's not what it's called, their wave stencil. It's a stencil and a masking stencil. I will have everything linked in the description for you. So I'm going to use this to create my ocean. I did use peacock feathers for my ocean. I've got a nice little wave here. I'm gonna use the reverse side of that stencil to create a mask. And now let's make like this beautiful sunset. So I'm gonna use squeezed lemonade. I'm gonna add that to the bottom here. Doing a nice little ink blending on the circle piece. Again, this is a the small circle from the dies. And then I'm going to use sponge sugar at the top. And I want that pink and orange to blend, obviously to give us a nice little orange color right in the center. So I'm gonna bring back in more of that squeezed lemonade and that way we can get that pretty orange. Now we have this beautiful background for one of our shaker cards. Cause again, we're making shakers super quick and easy. Why not? You already have a front piece and a back piece. You just need to add some acetate. Then I have my little island for my palm trees. 
uh, I am using gathered twigs. I did ink blend the sand, the little island piece, the sand, lighter than I did the palm tree, um, oh my gosh, trunks, even though it's the same color. Then I am ink blending with rustic wilderness and mowed lawn. So the palm tree was mowed lawn. And then these beautiful tropical leaves here are going to be ink blended with rustic wilderness. I do have a tiny blender brush. I'm using lots of little tiny blender brushes. I want to go dark in the center using that rustic wilderness and then kind of what's left over on my brush blend out from there so the outside edges are a little bit lighter. Again, when I ink blend, I do like to have darker and lighter areas. I probably say this every time I ink blend, but it's really more for the new viewers that are watching uh, because it just gives a little extra something. It gives you a little more detail to your images and you can do that when you're ink blending. It's so super simple. Then we have these beautiful flowers and right, I think these are hibiscus, yeah. I, my brain was kind of drawing a blank really quick. So those center pieces pop out. I am going to ink blend those with Kitsch Flamingo. I am using some detail blender brushes from uh, the stamp market. I've had these in my possession forever and ever and I forget that I have them. So not that long ago, I put them out where I could see them regularly. And so I thought this is perfect. Then I will use spun sugar for these, the bigger parts of the flower and opted to go with a bigger ink blending brush so it didn't take forever. I use the smaller ones for some of those smaller images so that I can hang on to it with like with my fingernail instead of losing it under a big brush. Then the, uh, squeezed lemonade for the centers of these flowers. I'm going to ink blend for the next card. I'm just doing a solid background with the uh, salvaged patina, sorry guys. And then I have these little seashells, we have an anchor and we have some waves. I'm ink blending with spun sugar and dried marigold on these cute little um, seashells. I'm just going to add a little bit of pink and then blend in some of that dried marigold so we have this two-toned seashell look. And again, these small blender brushes are super nice. These little detail blender brushes make this kind of small ink blending really easy. So let's do our little bottom pieces there. Then we have our little wood piece that goes on our anchor. I did die cut that anchor from a gold mirror cardstock. I thought that that would just I don't know, a little pop of gold for me is always nice. Then we have the front of our little window here. I'm gonna add some, try to add some liquid glue. And it was acting really funny for some reason. <clears throat> it wasn't really clogged, I think it was just slow. I've already die cut a piece of acetate from that same small circle that's gonna fit perfectly behind this. I am going to use two layers of foam adhesive. Right here, I just did one and I'm not sure why, but I did end up adding a second layer later. Making sure that your two ends touch because you don't want your little shaker bits to fall out. So now we have the front of that together. We can adhere our anchor with that wood piece that I did ink blend using the gathered twigs. I'm going to adhere the seashell pieces together. We have cute little seashells. I love seashells. I have seashells, big, beautiful seashells and coral all over my whole house. My house is very coastal theme. Then some of that peacock feathers, I'm gonna ink blend just at the bottom of the wave. I thought the top should be white and also it'll stand out from the background, but I just think it's so pretty. Just cleaning up my work surface so I don't spread that ink everywhere, but I want to adhere these two waves together, offset just a little bit and then I can trim that excess off because we don't need that sticking out past the circle because it would not look good. Once that's in place, then I can lay out my images. I'm just trying to make sure I get my waves centered in here. Let's put those in place. I'm going to adhere that anchor just a little bit on the side. I was deciding, do I want it inside? Do I want it outside? But I opted for inside. And then I want to tuck a couple of these seashells. I really was struggling with wanting all three seashells inside, but I figured out a way to have all three seashells, but only two of them are going to be inside. And I do want to tuck them under the wave and under that anchor. 
That just gives it a nice little pop of color in the back. Then I'm going to be using two different kinds of shaker mixes. I'm using Trinity Stamps, Blue Lagoon, and then Bubble Blowout. This is, oh no, that's Studio Katya's. Studio Katya's, I did use Crystal Clear Confetti on this one. And then now we have this great little shaker. Then you have this larger piece that I did ink blend with the peacock feathers. And so it'll have a nice little frame around it, which you will notice more once we put the cards on a card base. Now here's this cute one that we did, a wave and the sunset. We're gonna have some palm trees in the center. So I want to place my little island there. We can get our large and small palm tree glued together. I'm gonna pop that right in the center of our island. I just think it's so cute. I love that these are like mini scenes that you just get to look at like, you know, you're looking through the window and you just get to watch. Look at these amazing little, little, just little tiny scenes. I think they're so cute. Okay, adding that acetate piece to our the front of our little uh, window here. I have doubled over my foam adhesive strips from scrapbook.com. I'm removing both sides of the release paper because then you can just bend it around the circle and then making sure my two ends touch, I'm gonna trim that excess off. In this one, this is the Trinity Stamps Blue Lagoon and the last one, oh no, I know what we use. The bubble blowout's gonna be on, on the front. So I'm gonna put those in place and then adhere my back piece to it. Get how cute that is. And then we have that bigger circle that's gonna add the frame to this. I want to do a little bit of ink blending on that. I was deciding do I want blue, but I'm opting for the squeezed lemonade and the dried, or no, excuse me, and then the spun sugar, which is give, gonna give us a nice little yellowy orange around the edge. Then we can adhere that last, that other shaker right to the center of this piece. Now we can go back, oh, nope, we're not done yet, I'm so sorry. I'm moving ahead and you guys are not yet. I want to adhere my leaves and my flowers to the front of this. I did add some foam tape behind the flower. It's gonna give it dimension and also it's gonna add adhesive in the open area so I can put pop my center piece to the flower inside. Makes it super simple. So two leaves and one flower at the bottom and then one leaf and one flower at the top. So again, adding, adding that foam adhesive, putting it in place, and then you can just stick your centerpiece right in there and it's going to adhere that to that foam adhesive. Okay, on to the next one finally. This is the one that we did the alcohol ink blending. Everything was dry. I think for the most part, everything was dry. I did die cut the a seashell, I did die cut the sand, fish, and the greenery that are in the, you know, that's in the ocean, the algae and the kelp and the, you know, all those kinds of things. Not algae, that's not the right word. <laughs> My brain is not, seaweed, that's what I'm thinking, uh, algae. So I've got the sand adhered down. I know it, it's above the bottom of that circle, but it's fine because once we have that front window frame on there, you're not even gonna notice it. I have two pieces of the greenery. I'm going to adhere my two fish together. And then I can adhere those down inside. They're just swimming around that pretty ocean. I did add a little black glaze pen to the eyes. And now we can put those in place. Just deciding where I want these guys to be. I wanna be able to see everything that we did the alcohol ink with and that we die cut. I wanna see all those images. That's really, really pretty. And then I'm using the same little filler as I did on the first uh, shaker card. Let's get this last little piece of seaweed adhered down. Let's fill up our shaker pieces here. And I like to put it in this triangular thing because it doesn't go everywhere and it doesn't stick to my adhesive. Put that back on, press it down really good. I think I was a little bit off, so I do have to trim it up. I did ink blend that larger circle with the peacock feathers, and then I can put this in place. All right, now let's get to our sentiment. Let's adhere our last couple little images. So that's 
uh, seashell and our cute little seaweed on the outside there. Let's add our last seashell to the one with the anchor. This is where I said I wanted to have three seashells on this shaker card. And I was just trying to figure out how to make that work. So I'm going to put that in place. This is where we are going to be using uh, Trinity Stamps Bubble Blowout. To me, they, they totally look like bubbles. And they have this really beautiful, like, iridescent quality to them. I'm going to add these on the front of all three of these little shakers. It goes perfect with the water theme. They're pretty. The, just the color that comes off of them is so pretty. So I am being careful when I'm adding my liquid glue to the acetate itself to not to really try hard to not add too much because I don't want it to squish out on the acetate. So this has different sizes. I think there's like three or four different sizes. I think there's four different sizes of these, which I try to find because I love different sizes of confetti. I do want to ask you guys, which shaker is your favorite? At the end of the video, I'll tell you mine, but which shaker is your favorite? Please put that down in the comments below so I know what you guys think. Let's get a few of these around the flowers here and the leaves. I'm trying to get it turned over. It would not turn over. It kept landing wrong side up for me to use my little um, embellishment wand. Okay, so I had some sentiments that were already stamped and everything from Tailored Expressions because they have great stamps and coordinating dies that stamp a bunch of sentiments at one time. So these are all birthday related. One says, happy birthday to you, birthday wishes, and then happy birthday. I'm adhering these directly to the A2 size card base, and I love all of that white space with the pops of color. Let's take a look at these up close, and then I will tell you which one is my favorite. Look at how fun that this is our alcohol inked background with all of our cute little fish and the ocean scene. We have seashells and waves and an anchor. I think it's so fun. And then our third one has this little island. This is my favorite one right here. I love palm trees. I love the sunset. I love the ocean. It's beautiful. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you feel inspired by these projects and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.